In this video, we're going to look at creating a Google Doc agenda to use inside of a module inside of Canvas. There's lots of ways that you could create a document, a uh, Google Doc, to put inside of a module. I'm going to show you uh, an easy one that I've found, and it has to do with this piece right up here, this extension. Uh, I'm going to click on the extension. It gives me the option to get a new document, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, or form. So I'm going to click on Document. And there I have a new document opened up. So I'm going to pause here for a second and uh, take you through the steps to get that extension. To get that extension, you're going to want to go to the web store, uh, whichever route you choose to get there. There are many, but here I'm at the uh, icons, and I click on the web store. That is going to take me to the web store. Once I'm at the web store, I know that I'm looking for an extension. So I'm going to click on the extensions option here. And I'm going to click, uh, type in Docs Quick Create. Hit Enter. And that should take me to my options. Again, down here is where the extensions are. Google Docs Quick Create, you can see that uh, for me it's already added. And what you would do is you would click Add to Chrome and follow the steps on your computer to add it to your Chrome account. Once you've got it added to your Chrome account, it should show up somewhere in your extensions bar. It's going to look like this. And again, I just clicked on it and chose a new document in order to get this particular document. So now it's here. I want to start creating my agenda. And I'm simply going to type in, spell it correctly. I'm going to type in the word agenda. And perhaps I want to put the date in there as well. So let's go 9 slash 21 slash 16. And from here I can just start creating my agenda. So perhaps I would start with a bell ringer, uh, instruction, practice, and exit ticket. You could add homework and many other things, whatever your agenda for that day happens to be. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to do before you uh, are finished, before you leave the agenda and embed it into Canvas, is you're going to want to make sure that you set the sharing options how you want them to be. So you're going to click on the share button. Uh, give your document a name. So I'm going to give it the name that it chose for me there. That's fine. Now I can share it. So I go to get a shareable link right up here. And I'm going to choose this to be view only. Now the way that I'm setting it up is I'm just letting anyone at Anderson Community Schools view this. So any of my students who have an Anderson email address would be able to view this document. I have the option of letting them edit it, letting them comment on it, or letting them uh, view it. Maybe you want to set it up for comments so that students can comment back to you, but then they can't edit the original document. That's totally uh, up to you how you want to set it up depending upon what you're going to do with the document that you're embedding into. And then click Done. And now the sharing options are set. You don't have to do that again for this particular document. Once you follow these steps, your document is now ready to be embedded uh, into your Canvas course. 